Hey, welcome back to Believers Rebranded. This is where we expose the truth, the secret that these secret societies and at least don't want you to know. This is the reason why you shouldn't follow your favorite rappers or singers. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure that you actually hit the subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop you an upload. Now grab your water and sit back on your sofa, get comfy, because it's about to get crazy in here. Now, for starters, we live in a very dangerous world. I mean, you can die at any minute. In my opinion, you should spend your time investing in your future and not worshiping celebrities that bow down to a false god. This whole music industry is a facade. It's a lie to influence the masses using the talent given to you by God. Now, I won't lie to you, some of these rappers actually come into the game with good intentions. But over time, these intentions, you know, change. And whose fault is it? Is it the industry or is it theirs? Now, in my opinion, it's a little bit of both. The industry and them. The industry for using and exploiting their talent for dark and satanic ways. And for them, for uh, for accepting it. Now, brothers and sisters, these are uh, brothers and sisters. These are the people that we actually worship. Honestly, some of these people don't even know what's going on half of the time. For example, the baby confessed to sacrificing his dad for money and fame. Crazy, right? Apparently, the baby's uh, dad's body was found in the house, lying on the floor. No one knows what happened. No videos. No footage. That's the Illuminati. They know what's going on. Now, this is what I'm trying to tell you, man. This is all bigger than all of us. This is bigger than all of us. Now, if you come in contact with Illuminati, man, run for the hills, man. Go back to church. Go back to Jesus. All right? Now, after watching DMX's video of him talking about the Illuminati, I found it hard to believe the story of how he died. Now, was it drug abuse or was it a heart attack? I don't remember. Now, you need to be aware of what's going on. Life is spiritual. You might go to places like concerts, you know, maybe clubs, and bring back demons to your house that suddenly make life start going the other side. Now, yeah, everybody knows what happened at the Travis uh, Travis Scott concert. You know, a lot of people died in that. Uh, a lot of people died in that concert. It was a sacrificial uh, event. Now, it's a spiritual welfare. Life is a spiritual welfare. Everybody just needs to step out of their lives and see the truth, man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is all a game. It's a game. It's a game between the puppets and the puppeteers. Most of these rappers, they're puppets. Designed to be controlled by these labels. And who's behind these labels? These Satanists these devils, these demons, and everybody knows who controls the music industry, the devil. AKA Lucifer. Now, the Bible says, what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose your soul? These rappers and singers, they sold their souls for money and fame. But ask yourself one question. Why is the devil willing to give you anything you desire in exchange for your soul? I mean, think about it. The devil needs your soul to have power. I mean, he got to take your power to gain power. And if you don't know your power, you're going to lose your soul, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to lose your soul, brother and sister. Now, remember what I told you, man. Hell is a one-way traffic. Most of these musicians, they already know where they're going. Do you know where you're going? Now, don't do things just because you see them doing it. Showing signs just because you see them uh, showing it. They're mostly likely to be satanic and demonic. This is Believer Smith coming to you directly from Believers Rebranded. Hashtag expose. Brothers and sisters, it's time to start following these celebrities, where they gotta be actors, where they gotta be singers. There's a lot of Satanism going on in these companies. This is how they get you, man, using celebrities. You might not actually want to be part of it, but the moment you start doing it, automatically you start pushing the agenda. It's subliminal. A life of slavery. For example, this Instagrammer, uh, socialite, uh, Kenyan girl who was dancing naked on Instagram for Tory Lanez. This is what I'm talking about, man. 
that wants you to embarrass yourself, disgrace yourself in front of God. Now, we are God's uh, children. And once you do this, you insulting, you automatically insulting God's name. This is why some of these rappers and singers disgrace themselves in public by wearing wigs and dresses, homosexuality. They have fully embraced Lucifer. Remember what I told you, hell is a one-way ticket. How do you think a mother feels when, it's, uh, when the son disgraces himself in, uh, in public? I mean, think about it. Really think about it. It's crazy, right? That's how God feels. That's food for thought. Think about that. Now, to make this whole story more vivid to you, I have this video of this Kenyan rapper uh, slash thing, uh, singer confessing to have joined the Illuminati seven years ago. Now he's out of it. Maybe he can share some light into your soul about this whole charade. Check it out. Yeah, uh -huh. That Illuminati shit is real and people should stop joking about it. Yeah. yeah. So you know message now here. Um Mimi ni 23, 24 years. You understand? Yeah, now I'm I'm turning 30. That is for 7 years. Ilifanyikia je pengine? So, uh, kuna dem plan yali kam mzungu. Tuka have a meeting. Tuka wangea hapo ni tuache yu mall. Na mall iyo yenye kwa Ngong Road. Okay. Junction Mall. Yeah. Ande na kanza kuniambia yo. Mbona, mbona uko hapa, mbona maisha, maisha na kupeleka aje. Like what's happening, you are a dope producer. You can, you can sing. Kanyambia naweza kulink na big musicians wenye wamepitia through me na wakakua successful, you understand? And um, the first musician mwenye niliko mwenye alini link na ye kwa simu, hapu hapu. In the next one or two months, if you want. That fast, eh? You understand? Mi no jamin le kwa mtu huwa Napenda mtu Yo 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 eh Kwa mba nini? Eh Eh le kwa naomba sana bro And I still believe in God So To cut the story short I did whatever I did Hakuna sacrifice ya mtu yote And I bought my first car That man Kwa hiyo ulikubali Tuseme ulikubali Mara ya kwanza Mina ambia watu wache kutaki kitu kama joke Na mwa idu ni ya tunaishi saa hii Vitu vitu zime change You understand? Don't joke with something like Illuminati Cause you don't know Mina liku na mashida kibawa po Yani You know Tu ni kanunuwa gari yangu ya kuwanza Ni kanunuwa ya pili Ni kanunuwa ya tatu You know Ilifika level pesa ikakuwa, iko fresh kabisa nini Nikaanza kujipata na piga sherehe sana unaona Pale studio inafanya poa nini, manage nini, kambu mingi mingi nini Nikaanza kuomba bro Nilianza kuomba nikafanya accident So from that day, when you find an accident, up at the road, I'm going to go to You understand? Yeah. 
Haya. Nikarudi kazi, nikaendelea kufanya mziki. Bado na communicate na ule ule nani bado. Ule madam sasa. Eh. Yeah. Aliona kila kitu ilifanyika na nini? Juu nilikuwa peke yangu kwa hiyo barabara. And sikuelewa what happened. Lani niliona gari kwa hapo nafanya accident nyingine mbaya sana hapo. Nambie Mungu asante nikaanza ku kuomba ni nini. Kidogo kidogo ma mambo ikaanza ku change, change nini. Naona. So um Takwambia je, ni atasiji ni kuniende nikupe ni kueleza ni ku kufafanulia je hii story ndio uelewa. Yeah, so nika kuwa saved. Ili fanyiki ya wapi hapa hapa Nairobi? Hai, ah, hapa Nairobi bro. Okay. So, the moment, the more ni kiomba, ni kizidi kuomba, kitu moja inaenda. Mamba inaaribika. Yeah. Kizidi kuomba, kitu moja inaenda, ingine inaenda, ingine inaenda, you understand? Yeah, so kuna mungu na kuna hiyo kitu. The more, the more you pray, the more you lose vitu ambavyo ulivi gain bila Mungu. Nikafanyika kwa muda upi? Ah, uh, imefanyika. Imefanyika for a while. Na kuna time fulani huyu jamaa Anaitwa nani? Ah, uh, Recross. Yeah, yeah, Recross. Na time fulani amekuja Kenya akanipigia aka, aka, aka sana anataka to meet. Kama alikuwa shapo information about Magix Enga he has been you know amekuwa uh, kifanya hivi ne. Akasema tunaweza patana alafu we talk about this. Wase wengi bro like watu wengi wamefanya Kenya nilifanya you know. Kwa hapa Kenya Mingine kama, si, si, si lazima utajia majina, lakini wapa Kenya wapo mbao pingine wamefanya hivu. Sindio? Wako wengi bro. So, nikaanza kukuminikisi na uyo recruits for, for a while. Kwa neti tu, nezata kupatia uchikonfamia we mwenye na Instagram yangu. Lakini no jewa Kenya wanasema ngani cloud chasing. Everything yeah. magic's anger is cloud chasing. Yeah. Una tafta kiki. Oh, una tafta kiki, but yo manze, huko e, mtani watu wame sota, huko ghetto, bless ni metoka. Yeah. Vijana, wengi wanataka yo do, na understand. Did you learn something from it? Did you learn something from this video? Make sure that you actually, uh, make sure that you let me know in the comments down below what you guys like. And make sure that you hit the like button. Leave some nice emojis in the comment section. Yeah, this is Believer Smith coming to you directly from Believers Rebranded. Hashtag expose. See you on the next one. Stay on the safe side. Stay on the right side. God bless you. Amen.